yeah. So, uh, when we have recordings, um, good morning, everybody. This is Billbury's Blue Lighthouse meeting. <laughs> when we have recording, it essentially, uh, we can use this as uh, learning materials as well. You know, with the BP Lighthouse ambassadors, for example. So Hongkai, this is very excellent. There's a lot of thoughts that uh, all the discussions have gone in, uh, and it's captured visually. Um, the so I am starting like a deck like this, right? I keep trying, as you can see, to organize workflows. So, uh, as I was sharing with Ellen and Tasha, you see how I do it. Dang, dang. <laughs> I get too many work streams already. I cannot hold it in my head anymore. So I write it down like for each of the entity, okay? And each okay. of my clients or whatever. And then I have this trick where I paste everything, you know, using tape and paper. It's very, very, very basic, but it works because then I can have everything on the one page. Then I can look at it and I can think. And then I can simplify it. Okay, so that's my trick. That's my trick for all my exams when I was growing up, all my work. Uh, when I can hold it in my head, I can still do it, right? But once I can't hold it in my head, I, I feel like I, I start to get stressed. And then at night, I, I'm thinking about it because I can't hold it in my head. It means that the, the work has gone complex uh, and, and instead of trying to figure it out and get, get stressed in the body, I put it all down on the paper. So I did this last night because I was getting stressed. Then after that, I could sleep very well. So before I even finished, I was like falling asleep already. So this is a trick I, I want to share with all of you, okay? Because you all have very brilliant minds um, and, and we just don't have the tools. So now we're creating tools to put our brilliant minds captured, okay? So one of it is, is now we've got the logo. So I got this, uh, I try and do like things in maximum five to seven steps, three, five, seven, you know? If more than that, right? people cannot remember already but these are the uh i don't know what to call it i don't know whether you want to call it kick starting but essentially it's like a startup okay? in in any startup that we have uh whether it's for business not for business um it's there will be money involved it's the same thing you know so so i want to ground everyone into this kind of rigor in, in okay. whatever we do so so that we learn it and internalize it okay, okay. so i learned and tasha you're gonna make a determination to master this so that you can teach this okay do you all like the word kick starting or you want to have a different word <laughs> kick starting is fine uh, it's good right it's because yeah. it brings you to be able to go into crowdsourcing as well okay <laughs> Yeah, uh, or fundraising or, or grants. So, so we just say we are kickstarting. So we had okay. in uh, 2Q, we had emergencing Bilberry's Blue, okay? So the emergencing was involving talking, dialogues, um, and, and kind of, we had a lot of like uh, ideation, mm -hmm. right? Then uh, now it's, uh, then we did 3Q. 3Q was a space acquisition, essentially. Mm -hmm. okay. So you can see here, and we were working out our, from here, all the ideas, what is the development guidelines? And, and uh, Hong Kai, can you finish mm -hmm. up your, uh, your write-up? I want to include that as a, a chapter number 10 in the development guidelines. Okay. Uh, write-up for what? For the BB Lighthouse. You had a oh, you mean the pro programs? The programs, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, later you can you can show, okay? So, okay. but I think we have finished already, okay? Our ideation and our programs. Because based on what Ellen and Tasha, we met with the community and business leaders, I had written up that and I had written up the grant paper. So I'm going to put down here, uh, uh, so the grant paper was actually the grant structure. Okay, of what we want to accomplish strategically is, and, and also is the, all this available in the Google yeah, folder. Yeah, I put it in the Google folder. I'll show okay. you here. I I I put down here oh, nice. location. Okay. Yeah. So so I'm setting this as a template. The next time you all can do it, and then you can take from this template and refine it yourselves, you know. Okay. And you we need a taxonomy one. Okay. So this taxonomy is just starting only, but we can 
stick with that. Uh, so maybe this is the developmental work. Okay. Because we have enterprise development. So development is like when there's nothing there, there's just a vision. You have to develop the capabilities that is required. Mm -hmm. And then you've got to see the, uh, the people competencies and then how do we basically skill up. So a lot of our work is about knowledge. So this part here captures the knowledge, the thinking, and then the publication regarding that, right? And then there's one part where is you're learning by doing, right? Uh, mm -hmm. And that's what I call operational. So, so, so when we interface with reality, right? Then we get the feedback here. But as we go on, we still need to de deliver because as we click the space already, you see, we have to pay for the, uh, the utilities. We have to pay for the insurance. You know what I mean? It's no longer at um, an ideation level. Somebody, we, we have to either generate the, uh, the promise, uh, the impact promise, or the, uh, essentially, it's some, it, it still has to be paid, no, no matter what already, you know? So, so here is, uh, we have our operational plan. And uh, see, I just put all, basically, all the, the legal stuff, lah. I, I think all the, is, is, I, I don't know what C is, but this essentially is the governance, the governance structure of uh, BB Lighthouse. Because we've put that in the, we put that in the grant paper and I've drafted some kind of like a board paper for interface with any boards or um, uh, any, any institutions, right? And this is our governance structure. Okay. So, so your files is essentially the, like I said, the, um, it's a legal documentation. A lot of people don't realize that, you know, every single thing of our files. So, so our, what, what we will do is we will have our, our working files, right? Then we want to have uh, a track, track the cards, okay? Once it's finalized, right, you always put down a final version and then the rest you put down superseded like that, okay? Why I say this is you make everybody do this thing, okay? <laughs> so there's that standardization every time there's a file that is set up. Then you won't get, you won't get frustrated. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, so they need to track the cuts uh, uh, and... Those things that are considered um, legal agreements, okay, we pop it here. We, we have a track of that. So that we know what is considered um, legal agreement. And a, lot, a lot of stuff here are essentially the, the, the working files, okay, <clears throat> internal. Uh, so there is this con concept of uh, confidential information, okay? Because now we are like sharing files everywhere, right? People don't have this um, idea anymore of confidentiality, but we still need to maintain it, okay? Uh, and then some, someone, some files you need to have to have password protection. One, one very good layer is to have a password protection uh, between us anyway, okay? I have a password that I have already set up for uh, BB Lighthouse. I'll see if y'all can catch it. I've already sent it onto the chat. <laughs> I think y'all didn't catch it. But that is going to be the uh, pervading password, okay? So with, with this, it means that you're managing your, your information, your knowledge, your operations, your assets, uh, the people, so this is essentially good governance and uh, um, practice, okay? So, so, that's, so that makes uh, uh, BB Lighthouse essentially, right? Uh, uh, a tube sustainable enterprise. Can you see what, what, how, how this is? Because we are we are adopting the the tube governance framework. Hongkai, okay. Is there is there a for the governance framework? Is it in words? Did you put it down? Uh, it's um. 
is it that model that you drew the flower? Yeah, it's the model. Yeah, it's the model. Okay. We need to, we have another project called the Tube Platform, right? No. Where we have to basically build it and put everything in there already so that, so that um, those people who are cake starting different um, <laughs> projects under the Tube Sustainable Enterprise is, is, is able to reference it. So, so, so hence, this is my thinking. Where to put everything? <laughs> uh, and uh, we are still uh, ongoing with that because we're still talking to um, technology people to understand how, how to design it in a way that it's easy to be ported into technology or is there any open source technology that we can use? You know? But while that is happening, we are just going to learn on the go. Okay? Yeah. So, and we are also building the toolkits for the, the governance structure as well, because every single uh, uh, project or enterprise, right, um, is, is a bit different, you know. So, so, it's the application of the theory now. So, and as we build it, we have all these, uh, this, this will become like um, case studies for the, the tube uh, uh, framework. Uh. Okay. So, so, you guys are the co-founders of this, right? Uh, BB Lighthouse, okay. So, uh, then you have you have to track your work scope. So I started here already, okay. Uh, and I even have this link here, okay. So here is where we met each other and we started. Here we started to have a governance uh, framework that is already applied to BB Lighthouse, okay. Although the big framework is from Tube, uh, we also then. Uh, read and discussed and back and forth on the grant structure. Okay, I was the one I did to write it, but next time somebody can write it. But the it was very very difficult. It was harder than I thought. Um, because there's also the the funding structure to think about, and then we've figured that one out already. Once we have a grant structure, uh, and a financial model, uh, essentially, right? Uh, and 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 all the narrative all integrated. Uh, whether or not we can get the the money from Templeton Foundation, we're able to break it out and create our own uh, tactics to go and uh, uh, execute this strategy. La. Okay, so, so that becomes, we're very confident already. Then comes uh, the site acquisition piece where we needed the agreement and we needed the, uh, the insurance. So we're finishing that as well already. Okay, so now we're into four, coming into 4Q, right? And I had opened this meeting saying that um, the head of the learning support unit is uh, excited to visit us and they'll probably assign another teacher uh, to, to work with us for the five uh, students. So we don't mention their, their, the names or the school names just yet in this recording. Okay. Now, this concept came from uh, yourselves, BB Lighthouse Ambassadors. So uh, Hong Kai has written some programs, right? Hong Kai. This, this, this is how, yeah. how we're going to do this. Uh, we got to think, what does this mean, the BB ambassadors? Just like, what does it mean, BB Lighthouse Keepers? Okay. Uh, then you got to have the programs. Right? Just like we had scoped a program for BB Lighthouse Keepers uh, and it's nested in another program called Sustainability Apprentices. Right? So for mm -hmm. this BB Lighthouse Ambassadors, what is the, the, the program uh, relating to them? Okay. And then you have some programs there. So I'll, I'll just put it there as well. Uh, so the programs essentially is like the activities or something. So, so, so we will, anything that we're not sure, okay, we just want to have a parking ground here. We just call it, we put it in square brackets. So in legal terms, we call it square brackets because things that are tentative in a legal agreement when, when we are working in each other, we, we put it in square brackets. Once it's in square brackets, we know that uh, it needs to be changed. We don't know how to frame it just yet. Okay. Uh, so in, in I, I think there is uh, essentially an onboarding process Okay, so today we should really nail down these two things already and then begin the onboarding discussions and what we need to do as a team for the onboarding. 
apart from the 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 site preparation okay i want to put so before they come the site so we we also said that uh <laughs> because of covid we we're just going to hang on a while regarding the site preparation so so if you think about it logically we were actually there already doing site preparation right huh with uh, and ellen was doing the programming already right Ellen, you're on the board writing and, and Tasha too, you know. Yeah. Uh, there is something we mustn't forget, which is the library. Okay. The site preparation essentially is the, is the, the, uh, the space, the space management. Now. Okay. All the things have to be... Uh, Hong Kai, where, where do you think I should put the library? After the space, right? So these, these are the work streams. Space management, the library, then the ambassadors can come. Okay. I think the programs, the key, the, the, the key driver, I think you can, we need to write it. Uh, so if the temporary of license is up to May 31st, then let's write something that is uh, within that time frame, you know, maybe January to April. So we have a temporary license. I don't know why they had written it that way. Yeah, that way. But I think it's it's that it, it's still wanting us to prove ourselves, or somehow maybe the board is saying, okay, I'll give you a chance, uh, six months, you know. Okay. So see what 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 you do with it, kind of thing. So so I I think the lesson that we have to learn is that uh whatever arrangement we we have with everybody, uh it's never permanent. We we are the drivers. And however the circumstance change, uh, we are able to continue. I think uh, a three months, four months program with the ambassadors does not make sense uh, for me. For me, everything must be at least one year. Okay. Okay. So, but we will tell the school that uh, we would prefer a one year program, but uh, we, we, can, we can do six months, six months if, if and, and that's what we will communicate to the the parents and the teachers and the students involved as well. Okay. Like um, if if it's a short based one, uh, it's just it's just a, a project only, you know. It's 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 not really a program, but I think what we want to plan is an offering of a BB like have ambassadorship. Okay. So it's it's actually not more than it's not a year, you know. It's actually a a, a membership, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, right. So so let's let's maybe just keep this thing in mind first, as to maybe this are short term, medium term, long term. But I think the ambassador is a membership, is a member of the BB Lighthouse, lah, right? Mm. <laughs> yeah, because they are the keepers, and then we would expect them to partake in the duties right of the space management the library management and, and all that right mm -hmm. mm. Oh, okay. yeah so we are, we are actually place making right so we're converting the space into a place right yeah so in effect this whole thing is place making <laughs> right okay yes. Huh? yes like this huh you feel better like this yeah yeah. Okay. So when we on board, then only in January we will execute all the stuff because we need to get this whole thing set up first, right? So what we can tell the BB Lighthouse ambassadors is uh, you come on board and help us in 4Q or you can come in January. It's also fine, right? But whatever it is, this is the work that we're going to do already. I mean, we will ideally invite them to come on board to help us do place making i think it's much more exciting right okay yeah so we will do the onboarding here so and it, it will look messy and we will say that is the whole reason why right 
so so I think the reality of this quarter is uh essentially uh, quite a lot of uh to come to to think of it uh, the work itself is actually setting up the space and cataloging the library you know <laughs> huh? and then all the dialogues in in relating to the um, the social pedagogies okay. so so i i would think uh this one uh, may be uh, so we will put it like that right i'm going to shift this here so that i have i have space Alamak. They don't give us very much time, so we might as well put the whole thing here already. Okay? Because uh, this is probably our one of our comms deck to our for for anybody who's um uh, involved in this uh project. Hang on. So I like to do two things one time only, you know. So while we're having a discussion and we're making our meeting notes, I tend to make it as publishable as possible already. I don't like to go back to, to things. So that's that's the other practice that I have uh, developed over the years. Because in the end, whatever notes you have is, is basically the publishing material already. It's the communication material. Already. You know what I mean? Okay, so we started here. We are here. Uh, this is, you see, so, so we are already visioning into 2022 already. Okay. Um, so, Hongkai, Is it like this? Okay, but a lot of people don't like execution. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking we can really do something simple in fourth quarter. Already in something the, simple here. In the implementation part, yeah. Okay, so we will implement, okay. After onboarding, we will do something uh, so program. Just okay. a small project. It's just a very small project. Okay, small project. I love it. I love it. Uh, so so there is, I think, uh, I think your program was already here. Huh? Program development. Mm. You already have it here. That's why you have you we are we are already done here already. So so that's that's really good. Um, so we had uh, because the backstory right was essentially this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's why in our paper here, the development guidelines for BBLH, 
we had a backstory to hear. And then I want to show that then you already developed develop this. And uh, this was that's why the, the, you could visualize that it's actually placemaking. That's very good. So now you can visualize the implementation. So we're implementing already. Okay, Ellen and Tasha, we are implementation already. <laughs> then here, we just need a, a big project, you think? Don't forget that uh, the BB Lighthouse Keepers and Ambassadors now will continue to... Because I don't think y'all can finish the... The, the space and the library piece. That one will be ongoing, right? Yeah. So then basically, this is to integrate the Lighthouse Keepers and Ambassadors. Okay, right? This small project. After that, I would think that the VB is, is actually some kind of community engagement. Uh, and in, in the agreement is uh, Sembawang GRC. Right? Oh. This is noted down in the agreement. Yeah. <laughs> well, I thought it was just... Uh, no, no, no. It's on record. It's on record. So we... Okay. There are five students. And so our placemaking is like this. How do we use this place? So, I mean, whatever we want to do here, uh, it can be very small and it can be very COVID-proof, you know? <laughs> we, it's, it's up to our, our intelligence to, to go and uh, our creativity to, to figure out what this is, right? I would think by here, we would need to have our documentation, maybe. Our pedagogical documentation. Okay. So in, in the design of all these programs, right, we should be building our pedagogical documentation. So I am already thinking that we should start our, uh, we definitely need an online presence. With the, with the space, we, have, we need an online presence. Wow, yeah. on life, on life, on life. You know what on life is, Anna? No idea. <laughs> you stream yourself, okay? Allah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Allah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, because mm. I kept typing online, online, the thing doesn't even want I think I, AI wants me to do online already. <laughs> yeah. So, so you can see when you are placemaking, you're, you're essentially playing house la, in some ways, right? Mm. Set, you're setting up your space here. So this is all internal, right? Mm. Yeah. Then this is basically all the external engagement. So uh, the, the pedagogical documentation essentially is the reflection and what next? Okay. Yeah. Because, because we will need to get the, the board paper and I, I'm sure they will extend the license now. Okay. And then, and then we'll continue. So, 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 so um, it, I think they just want us to have a habit of uh, of uh, of just this kind of uh, cycle, uh, half yearly, you know, reflection. Yeah. So yeah. as in, do we need to present to them in November? Is the board meetings? No, they... no. The the principal will present uh, because they have so many other items. Uh, oh. Essentially, I I think we. We are nearly there already. We're on track. So this is October. So October okay. is the time where we meet uh, the five ambassadors. Okay. Okay. So I'll make it even very specific. And, and in meeting the five ambassadors, we have to meet their parents. And I think that this is, this is what this is preparing towards. So uh, we will make a, a, a presentation like this, right? Or we have to think, how, how are we going to present ourselves? And we, we have to get ourselves organized as well. Uh, I think it's called, yeah, in turn, operational, operational readiness, operational uh, infrastructure. Okay. So while we have the big lofty development guidelines, um, we now are creating our own operational infrastructure and we were looking around, you know, we met with 
uh, weaver and all that. But I'm thinking it costs so much money, everything, uh, and we've already paid for the uh, the Google email, right? Uh, we mm-hmm. should really use you should really use Google, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, just use Google uh, for now. Google PowerPoint slides, uh, you know, so 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 that uh. We don't need to pay any extra money unless we get can get our grants in and then we can think of de- designing our own system. <clears throat> but I think also that we have so much work going, <laughs> like the cataloging of the books itself and all that already, you know. Yeah. So yeah. So so this this will stabilize this uh, work scope, right? Not not too because it's tangible and it's fixed already. It, it, we won't let it move too 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 far away from this. At, at the okay. operational at the operational level, at the conceptual level and developmental level, of course we can bring it in and we can still bring some and, and create uh, more insights, ideas, etc. Et you know, but okay. at the operational level, I think this is all we can accomplish in in the reality of uh, interfacing with the school and uh, in the times of COVID, and and uh, uh, yeah. Oh, Alan, Tasha, how do you feel? I, uh, I do feel that it's a good idea for us to do this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think this will definitely help us plan better. Yeah. So, so uh, the you can visualize what you need to do, right? Mm-hmm. In the next three months under yeah. this project, okay? Yeah. Uh, I don't think I will involve you in another project just yet. What do you think? Like the charcoal cottage studios, is it too complicating if got like, two two projects? You can still handle, huh? Ellen, you still want to be involved in the charcoal project as well? Um, I don't know. That one is the fashion one. Um. <laughs> Um, I'm thinking about that. my mom see whether I can join in or no. Uh, no, you can. You it's it's up to you. Uh, you know, you are already it's part of the apprenticeship program. It's it's just a matter of whether you yourself can handle it. Uh, that's what I'm asking. Um, actually, I see it is a a I see it a a very good idea. For this object, so I'm uh, carrying, carrying, carrying in one project as well. Okay, so you want to be involved in charcoal as well? No, no. I think I want it to be one project. One project at a time. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, I think I don't have to find that. I think we go one project at a time. So maybe. Because the, the charcoal one, right, has essentially fashion and identity. Maybe I go and set it all up first and then just offer it as one part here. It's, it's, I think it's really, am I? Yeah, it's huh? really part of the space management. Right? You mentioned previously the space in the, the room a part of it will be used for charcoal. So yeah. we cannot run away from, from, from the projects. Just how Ellen and Tasha, you all can mm. come in. How all of us can come in. Okay. Okay. Because we have Different, no we have no chance. <laughs> yeah. Comments. So uh library is under BB Lighthouse. Uh, the, the mm. commercial side, the micro entrepreneurism side is under charcoal, so no point. It is already there. You're right, no choice. And uh, the whole governance and the, the theory is under tube, right? So the office side yeah. of uh BB Lighthouse Studio is essentially tube, right? The whole place making actually involves this, right? There's there's community of character for sustainable development under tube, which mm. we will call it as the office, right? Uh and uh so so let's ah uh, so I, I so I have here work site right because I I why I have it work 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 is it's basically really to to pull the transition from a school project into work 
mentality mindset but because it's a new okay. type of work it's a new type of work uh, it feels so fun that it doesn't feel like work <laughs> but I, I, I want you all to really anchor in that uh, you are at work and essentially what the ambassadors come in to do right uh, and they are in work uh, workplace attachment you know and that's good for them because uh, uh, they can put that in their CVs as well okay uh, and um, apprentice workplace uh. huh? you like that Okay. This would please okay. Wait, so who's the who's the apprentice? We are the apprentice, right? You are the apprentice, yeah. <laughs> we are the, I don't know who's the apprentice. Are we the you ambassadors? Are the apprentice. And, okay, huh? okay, we are the apprentice. Okay. No, you are the lighthouse keepers because it's the <sighs> lighthouse and they are the ambassadors. <laughs> okay. But okay. from then you nest it one level higher, one level higher. The the view is it's because we are developing uh, tube sustainability apprentice. Okay. It's BB la, okay? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, how do I explain this? Huh? It's like this, okay? <laughs> let, let me explain it visually for Ellen and Tasha, okay? I think, okay. I think they're still trying to grasp this, okay? Yes. Yeah, okay. So, oh. Sustainability apprentice. So your name card, your name card will say this, right? Okay. Your your email, uh, email signature. Okay. So so name card. Uh, email signature. Okay. Alan has already changed his email signature because he was an intern, so he understood. We understood this piece. Okay. We were creating this. Oh. So the, the interns all have their name card, the email signature before, before COVID, like after COVID, not, not much point. Then what we can do is have you all set up your LinkedIn. Okay, instead of name card, right? We put in LinkedIn. You can see that it's not a school project. It's a work project. It's a work, okay. it's a work matter. Okay. okay. To, to the world, they need to see that. Okay, then how I see is you are all deployed in 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 different uh, um, projects. Okay, we deployed like this. Can you guess which are the four that you are already being deployed in already? Like how summer school, charcoal, and one more. Very good, very good, very good. <laughs> Okay, Hongkai passed already. Uh. <laughs> see, see, Alan, Alan, got some more, got some more. Okay. And you're also creating the, uh, the, mm -hmm. the, uh, yeah, the apprenticeship program because you are the pioneer oh. apprentice. Oh, okay. Ah, you, you get what's happening now? So the first thing is you're, you're part of uh, purples, okay? So let's say I put here purples. What, what does that mean, okay? Okay. These are just, these are just contextual notes, now, okay? So by the time you all meet the parents and teachers, you need to be able to understand, explain this very, very clearly, even draw it out, internalize. So when you're part of purples, it means you are doing um, uh, program development. Remember I said this regarding the internship, Ellen and Tasha? Because you're pioneers, you are able to input in what is required for that program. Okay? And then you, you work with the stewards. The stewards are undergoing this thing under purples because there's, there's not everything is defined, you know, because we're, we're creating something new, right? Uh, and we're creating this shared, how do we share the, uh, uh, what is our status? We also, we say we're co-entrepreneurs, right? <laughs> or I am researching here, uh, uh, 
is it a trainee program? Is it entrepreneurs? Okay, so this is a trainee. So entrepreneurs, so there are many, many things, right? As to the legal status. Because you want this to be your, your formal work, right? Yeah, because uh, it is your formal work and it, it's, it's just that uh, uh, your portfolio, the portfolio career is, is, is a bit different now, okay? So you've already begun your career. It's, it's part of the career development already, okay? Okay? See here? Okay. Yeah, so that's why it's important after we describe everything, you write everything down, right? And we have to launch it as a, as a career program already, you know, where there is also uh, uh, so we say skills development, right? Then, then it's up to us to develop that as well, right? And, and the difference is uh, we are fully inclusive. Okay. So then, what what uh, you're also learning is the developing is actually working to develop the uh, the tube platform, right? The content of it, because all the insights, all the insights will be published here and captured here, right? Can you see it really better? So this, this is the uh, community of a uh, uh, character. This, mm -hmm. is, this is where the sustainable development is. Because Popples, you, if you look at it, is, is, is a first and foremost, um, out the, the character, the values, right? Okay. Then, so this is basically when you catalog the library, it will also go in here. Okay. It's a knowledge, it's a knowledge platform. So it's a sustainable development here. So we will participate in these discussions as well. Okay, then, then we need to uh, have pedagogical documentation here. We also talk about uh, IP here, okay? So I'm setting up with the IP lawyer, so you can be involved in that as well. So knowledge sharing, uh, it's, it's, it's a marketplace, right? Right? It's yep. a different type of marketplace, right? And this is where it gets very exciting because the, uh, the, uh, then we started this, okay? Although we have a lot of couples. Um, okay, so the... Uh, I want to not do... So this is where my, my own conceptual thinking is. So there's the youth, Maybe youth okay, I will I will put it like this. Because some of the youths uh, are already, they have finished school already. This baby youth stewardship was 
primarily initially for those who are still in school, but they are finishing school already. So under here, uh, this is primarily formation, okay? And, and daring to go onto your own journey of possibilities, but they're still in school, right? And then our journey of possibilities together, we were going to do... Uh, ah, actually, this one, I think it's primarily for personal atelier formation. Yeah, Hong Kai? The program itself, the, 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 the journey of possibilities. Then what, what we added was um, the BB Summer School. Okay. So in tandem with uh, BB Lighthouse, In tandem with BB Lighthouse, so so we are essentially creating like our own um, Hong Kai help. Oh, Hong Kai is dropped off. Okay. Let me just finish this, okay? So, Alan and Tasha, can you see we are involved in many, many projects? Can you see now better? And we had our... You see, as as an intern, you had organized a micro summit. Then you can you see the the work that you've done. Hello, can you see where uh, Tasha uh, Hong Kai is? Can you text Hong Kai and see where he is, please? Okay, I will, I will check. Yes, thank you. I'm back. Ah, hi, Hong Kai. Okay. So, so we have a, uh, ah, so we might actually, okay. So can you see the context better now? I 
I, I think I think first and foremost, uh, Hub is actually governance. It's a sustainable development governance machinery. Right? We're, we're very, very clear with that. And then we have Scythe and Kin as well. So that's why we are always and even our conversations regarding our structure has, has this has an economic development framework to it, social economic, and then social environmental, right? Now, now, now that's really the, the question, or, or ESG, right? So, and then I was thinking this morning, you know, what is the production and distribution of, of knowledge, you know? And what is the marketplace for that? Maybe, maybe that's what Tube is. You see, so well, we are still figuring what it is, right? We keep it as a discussion level and we track it as a discussion. We are, we are using that as our, our body of, of work, you know, because we are, we are all discussing. So, and, and the school of life here is where we bring everybody together and, and, and we basically uh, publish, right? It's, it's, a, it's a global unconferencing. So, so we, we have like our own university going on, but um, it's not the, the it's 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 not possible uh, because our our for an inclusive humanity. Okay, so we, we have to remember this uh, as as uh, the reason why we are different from everybody else okay so so we have a full inclusion element and and that's why the while all these other people may have uh one thing they won't be able to do and they won't be able to commit to is the full inclusion piece the full inclusion education full inclusion uh developmental intervention uh, work especially you know and, and making it work well. That's why we converted it into a school of life. So wherever we go, we will be, we will stand out. On, if you think about it, wherever we go, whatever we do, because we're able to do it so well as a true community, you know, not, not as a, not as a, like I said, a donor beneficiary kind of mindset. So, so, so this conversation is recorded, like this is under one love. So one love holds. So, so, so you can see that all this work here, you know, uh, is is really for an inclusive humanity. So as apprentice, uh, while you are developing your career in entrepreneurism, is actually sustainable entrepreneurism, and we define it as the flower and everything we can we can deep dive in it you know and we can deep build it as well uh it isn't a fixed answer it has a structure it has the learning of everybody observation of everybody but it still needs to be uh, articulated and cognized and published and uh, eventually be able to be implemented quite easily like uh and and people can be trained in it so that's that's the hope of uh uh, of tube, I think the platform skills development. So as a apprentice, you're actually feeling this out, and then figuring how do we write it all down so that the training will be faster and faster, and we can onboard uh even more apprentice. So Ellen and Tasha, you are also the pioneer for the full inclusion piece. Okay, very very important. Uh, which is why you must always speak up, okay? Because you are speaking up for uh, people like yourselves, you know, and creating the possibilities for more people. And when the ambassadors come in, uh, they're much younger, okay? This is where we also want to hear their, their views, their desires, their, their possibilities, okay? And the more diverse that we can get as... So BB Lighthouse is essentially the place where we get to hear from the younger 
even younger than the youths. Okay, the adolescents. We are hearing from the adolescents. They're still in school. Okay, so in light of that, right, then if you take this piece, right, you have to ask yourselves then, what, uh, what do we do here? Because I've left this thing blank, okay? What do you do for yourself in the first place? And, uh, and then it has a place of belonging, etc. but it has a place of work as well, right? So then this place here is the micro-entrepreneurism. Why I had built this is so that everybody can see the end-to-end. -end. What I find that people have become disempowered regarding the economy. You need, if you can't see it, you are just doing one part of the work, but there is a, a specialism. And I think having a gift shop is, is quite easy to understand it. So you, what, what we have is e-commerce, right? So if you go on, e-commerce is now the commerce, <laughs> right? So you have digital downloads. What are they? How do you distribute them? How do you make them? So I piloted that. Uh, fashion and apparel is easy because it's relating to identity. So we go fashion and identity. Okay, so that's, that's where the, the charcoal runway is. Uh, so, so this cottage studio is about the, the, the different type of uh, entrepreneurism. Charcoal runway is a very specific one regarding fashion and identity. Okay, and, and making clothes and uh, how, how you carry yourself, how you dress yourself, et cetera, uh, uh, your choices um, and, and interfacing with, with customers. Okay, Chaco Runway has a, has a, has a, I, I think, it, I think it's about, um, I don't know what this is about. I, 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 I guess, it's co it's co designing, co designing between the the maker and the the consumer and the the maker. So so this one is very specific fashion and identity only. Okay, uh, clothes making. Because clothes is the base of your your dignity. What, what you wear, you know. Uh, so, so this one has end to end, and then this this one has a uh, fashion and apparel. So this one has to be very commercial terms. Okay, e-commerce are now structured like that. Uh, it can be uh, uh, programs. It can be teach uh, teaching. Okay, there's a lot of different kind of uh, teaching programs. Uh, th that means we can create teaching programs and we can, we can actually offer it uh, any kinds of services, okay? So maybe like, uh, uh, so once, once you know how to do this, so digital downloads, uh, it can be very obvious uh, books, gifts. Um, events, you know? Can you visualize what everybody can do? So Ellen, can you visualize Ellen, what is going on? Well, well I, I, I see. I, well, actually, I want to, uh, this, I want to 
his son I want to see son I want to see son fashion you know yeah you're the design fashion then you're here yeah Sucker runway yeah and then it means we will learn how to do uh we will build the charcoal cottage studios uh, economic empower remember i was sending all the um photos of uh, me looking at co warehousing remember yeah. yeah this is the back end of the yeah so this this is the back end of uh, essentially the e-commerce gift shop and then I, I pull out as I as I went along. I realized, oh no, we don't know what our customers want. We need to hear from our customers. So you need to find a customer each, okay, uh, and and then learn to listen to the customer and then talk to the designers or design it yourself, okay, and then talk to the uh the producers, the 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 seamstress, or the tailor. And then get it sewn, and then we have to deliver to the customer, and we have to record the unboxing experience. So I learned Natasha. Uh, maybe you can ask your parents if they want to be a customer. And then you yourself can design one clothes for yourself. <laughs> can you do that? Hong Kai, you're the same as well. <laughs> Okay, Hong Kai got his hands full. Okay, Hong Kai, no, 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 don't, don't do it. This one, Alan and Tasha first. Okay, Hong Kai got his hands full right here already. <laughs> a lot, a lot. Okay, so we don't all need to do the same thing. I, I think that's the lesson that I'm learning as well, huh? Hong Kai. We don't all need to do the same thing, but we are all uh understanding what everybody is doing. So, with this context, right? This is for your context, right? Then for the ambassadors, right? What do you think is their context? Mm. So when they come into this space, the work site has all these things there, <laughs> right? Essentially, right? Uh, it has it has all these things that yeah. Um, Am I missing anything? So they come into a lighthouse. The lighthouse becomes like a, a place maker, a co-working place. <laughs> huh? So the lighthouse actually has a, a, a co-working. It's a co-working uh, place. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, You see, we didn't define anything for these guys, for the, the youth, you know. We just said, come on to a journey of possibilities. It's really open, you know. I think there is one other thing in here. Oh, yo, oh, no space already. Let me make this all very small. You know what's missing here, Hong Kai? It's the Chaco Atelier. There's a Chaco Atelier. Yeah, Vincent can actually lead that. He says he doesn't, he would, he would love to be able to give lessons on making art, very specific one. Not, 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 not linked to entrepreneurism, not linked to design, not linked to all this. And I, I think that's, okay. we used to run an art school. <laughs> so we have the capability of running an art school. We, we ran it for children and we ran uh, projects as well. Okay. So maybe uh, the, okay. So this is what the apprentice are up to. Okay. Okay. So we just need to map something for the from the viewpoint of the uh, ambassadors. I'll come to that later. And we will use 
your program. But when they come into the space, this this is, I think the 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 tube space. Um, TV Lighthouse actually has has place making and it has the library. You know, I think the the library goes with TV Lighthouse and wherever it goes. Uh. This one is uh, making art. Oh, Vincent calls it space and place for creative exploration. So he had written the paper, just like Saif had written the governance piece, right? Vincent had written a space and places. That's how he, 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 he. so there is a guideline in here already. So, so I think a, a proper personal atelier is, is, is here, very open. Maybe uh, but I think your personal atelier is slightly different. It's not just art, but you, you can consider it here. Because I, I think it, people need to, to draw. So I'm, I'm not sure, okay? So like this personal atelier, you see, I, I don't know where to put it. So you going through it and really deep discovering it will be the will be the best plus person to explain where to put it. The Chaco Atelier could really be about creativity and art. Maybe I'm not sure, okay. So I just put it like that because, but but Vincent can drive it and he can do um, uh, exhibitions here, art exhibitions, you know, community art. Uh, uh, I think he has a art studio. I think I think that's that's what it is. Uh, studio time. Maybe I put it here for him to think about it. While there is a space, there is a. I don't know. Okay, he's written the whole paper already. He's he's thought through how 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 it will look like already. So in the BB Lighthouse, one component of it is is this. Okay. So this is not work site, huh? What is this? This is the work scope. This, this feels like something else. Work role? Is that it? Huh? Your role? It's not a role, it's a, the designation. Oh. It's a designation, right? Your, that means a title, the work okay. title. Then you're I an was, apprentice. I was just yeah. thinking of domains. Domains, uh, work like, domains. Uh. Like, domains. Um, All these are... Work domains. Uh. Designation and domain. Our designation is the apprentice. Mm. Then instead of projects, huh? Yeah. Because within it there will be projects as well, right? And programs like this. So if if there is one for you guys, then there ought to be another for the ambassadors. Now, this is a bit tricky already, okay? Because they are lighthouse ambassadors. They're not, um, it's, it's not so big. They're not, they're not interns either. It, it's very confined. Uh, we can invite them to the summer school. Uh, I think they're a bit too young to sit in the youth stewards discussion. That's why they're they are kind of hosted within here. Uh, I don't know if 
I think some of it, one small part can can participate in this. I think this, this, this is, I don't know. So I don't know. Okay, question mark here. I think we will need to discuss with them. And then we, 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 we need your, that, that your, uh, so a big, I put a question mark here. Okay. So, so you see, we are already scoping for this already, right? We're already scoping this. What? Has the teachers told us how they have invited the five students to our group? No, they haven't. That's one thing we have to find out as well. So, so I think that's the first thing we need to tell them. Why today? Why are they coming to our program? I, I, I don't know. Is it, uh, a school we, within a school. I think it, that's that, that that's their perspective. I mean, that's what I learned in social work group work. Uh, like okay. Before, as in, we need to give as in we need to give them a reason, uh, or uh, why out like um, out of all the school students, they are selected to be in this program. Okay. But, so and I, I think the school has really given them some sort of reason, but we, we need to ah, align ourselves. Okay. And so. Okay. So this is the why, right? Okay. Yeah. I am I am going to just pause on this because this is our kickstarting thing, right? Uh we can change the flow of this. Mm. Okay. Uh so I'm going to save this as uh so I'm just showing everybody the, the work uh, habits that we hope everybody will follow, okay? You basically have to change the date and you change the cut like this, okay? And oh, then you okay. put your names, yeah, so that you can track one, okay? So this is how work collaboration uh, looks like. And Wait, where, where do you put the name again? Ah, wait, hang on, you can't see it. Uh, just just let me finish this first oh. before I lose my document. I actually have the previous documents for the grant paper. It's the same naming convention. Yep. The the company first. O L J T F grant. We will yes. do like how yes. keep open cut five. Yeah, and the date and maybe I've changed the, <laughs> the convention slightly. So oh, okay, no, no, okay. no, no. You you keep us you keep me into the right convention. Okay. So because I got so many work streams, um, but we can put the, the file name here, okay. Okay, don't don't put too many things because otherwise every single time you change something, you have to change. I'd rather not. Okay, so already the date here is it's got to be updated already. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you can see here the work scope. Uh, so after work scope, we have to have the, or do you think we need to have work designation first? Work designation first, right? Okay. They only can scope, right? So I would say, like this is the context, okay. Explain the big picture first, okay, conceptually. Then after that, you say, okay, this is just specifically for BB Lighthouse. Mm. Okay, then you go straight to BB Lighthouse stuff already. Mm. Okay, then we can take this and go into other work streams, the other work streams briefing, and then the, the task that everybody needs to do. So it becomes very clear every time. Mm. Ellen, Tasha, a bit clearer. So when somebody asks you, or whoever is asking you, where, where do you work? What do you do? Okay, uh, One Love is uh, for inclusive humanity, uh, for uh, global sustainability, and uh, flourishing, okay. So you are an apprentice. Okay, you're an apprentice. 
your name card, your LinkedIn, your email signature. So this identity you all have to create, you know. It's like, it's like I'm a co-founder of this and this, this, this. You look at my LinkedIn, I managed to put everything in there. So your LinkedIn needs to have that kind of, so that people know that you, this is your career commitment. Then maybe next time after this season, uh, you, you may go and take on a job somewhere or a role somewhere, right? This can still continue if you convert it into volunteerism or, or, or however, you know. So that, that's how people manage their LinkedIn. They have the first, they have the second. So, so it's, it's like your, your, your career identity. And then Tasha, you get your career identity. Yeah, this is already your job. So when you sign in with Bilberry's Blue, the whole group, okay, and then midway this year, we shifted all our, our people development, our purpose into One Love. Then you're also part of One Love as well. But actually, you're also part of Charcoal. You are mobilized into every any of the 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 companies in Bilberry's Blue. So that this is how it works. But we are not a, a consolidated corporate structure. Okay. So we can have another session again on what the corporate structure is. But but you have to know the the mechanics of why we design it like that. So that when somebody asks you, you are able to explain it. Okay. But for now, I think uh, domains is. Work domains is a good, good way of framing it. Instead of, of a project, you know, these are these are the domains. Then 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 it's like this like this. It's easier to uh, put it together, right? Uh, I think Hong Kai, you might. I think under Chaco Atelier is where we have the discussions. Okay, that's one place, right? So, Cube is about uh, the economics of universal well-being, right? So, the personal well-being, I think it's here, you know. This program, for me, talks, gives the time for people to, to work on this. There are seven formation milestones that's authored by um, Bernie, right? Uh, I, th I think it's, it's really the... And I think what was appealing... What was uh, appealing for the uh, the youth towards for the summer school was that uh, we could build this tree of life, uh, this school of life, and there was a tree metaphor that uh, had come up. Remember during the BB emergency BB and all that. I don't know. I can't remember whether you're across or where the five Thursdays to Cambridge, right? Uh, that there is this thing that came up. Remember. The tree, we haven't finished fleshing it out. So with that group, Tasha, Ellen, we will build on this one. We will need to flesh out this, okay? That is going to be like our curriculum. That's my sense. Because you guys are going to be building the curriculum. Remember we said that? You go to summer school, you build a summer school, you organize a summer school, you teach a summer school, you run it, you learn, you co-learn together. Okay? So, so uh, there is another build, use towards, something else has come up, which is the, uh, we are working on their editorial board. There is an editorial board. Hong Kai, you're on it, you know? Mm. Okay. I, I, I don't know what, whether it's going to be another work domain or it's going to be here, but I think maybe just keep it here, right? Because you're collecting the voices of the youth here. You need to produce content. And yeah. I, think, mm. I think it will possibly be linked to Chaco Atelier if there's going to be art, thinking, creativity, things like that. Mm. Yeah. This one is like a different program. Like you see, like we have different work streams, right? But you're right. 
so but when when people go on to the domain right they they need to know that they have to commit to it you know mm. it, it can't come automatically although they say okay i think i have uh sign in on this program then that means i have i know the skills but actually you don't <laughs> right until you until you know it so if people are interested in going uh vincent is most happy to to set up his uh, art studio time and uh, you know i would encourage him to also take people onto the art uh, art uh, exhibition journey right and uh, and the art making but it's, it's it's very specifically art studio time you know uh if you want to talk about personal atelier i can create another project uh, another program but I'm very specific one, okay? Like, for example, I would say you need to go and run three hours a day or walk three hours a day or three hours twice a week or three times a week because my, my personal conviction on, on that is that if you're not fit, uh, you just can't get your well-being no matter how what, what uh, you desire, you know? That's my own personal conviction. I tried it. I tried it experimentally on myself. <laughs> if I don't, I decay. I, I literally tell people I decay, you know. But in this use towards, uh, we are giving the idea of choice, right? Uh, so, so I cannot dictate. <laughs> I, I cannot say, okay, you got to go and do this. I cannot even nag, you know. So we, we just go through the milestones and people are talking and then we record the editorial board just compiles the, the voice of this, right? And then we can offer these other uh, domains, right? And, and you're right, our place is very close to here, okay? Uh, but you see, it's, it's still in pursuit of this. And, and there will come a point where, you see, I don't see exercise here anywhere, you know? There needs to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there needs to be exercise somewhere here, yeah. but it has to be integrated because if it's not integrated with meaning, then the, so so maybe it's here, maybe it's here, but it's going to pop up lah. So, but for now we are talking about economic empowerment, right? Because oh, you are are in your youth already. Uh, you definitely need to start thinking about at least paying for your own. Uh, space your own clothes your own you know otherwise you, you can't get dignity right so so this is the uh, uh, uh the the discussion relating this this age group uh. and and i think that's why the for the ambassadors the things that are relevant to them very very different the school is probably relevant to them you know their own uh development in transition as the adolescence is very relevant to them so it's what's relevant to them right and then what unifies them with everybody else right so so here you you can see the editorial board uh when we assemble the committee maybe we'll keep it under this lane you know there are so many youth voices here uh, a lot of them haven't even spoken up so like you say, it's true. So some will say, okay, I, I want to learn how to, I, I, I can't draw, but I want to learn how to draw. Then we'll, we'll access Vincent and say, okay, can we set a couple of sessions? Just like I had set five sessions to, to Cambridge and facilitated this, right? Uh, and we are working on this and I'm already building this end-to-end -end economic empowerment and the e-commerce and the co-warehousing, right? For for potentially all these uh, economic empowerment, right? Uh, so, so and uh, making clothes and it's another skill that you can develop. Uh, what's missing here? Okay, so the Chaco Atelier can be art, can be writing. I think art writing uh, and uh, media production, essentially, right? I'm not sure, you know. Uh, here, here we'll definitely have media already. Okay. So we leave it as that. But this, this is where people are realizing, okay, these are the skills I really need to have. For charcoal atelier, right? Since you want to eventually market charcoal runway and cottage studios to the shop, so charcoal atelier, if it's related to art, there will have to be branding. Like in terms of like how you want to showcase the uniqueness of the fashion that's designed. Yeah, 
everything. So keep, it very, keep, it, keep, it, keep it very open, right? Yeah. Keep it very open. Uh, so we can have different types of um, projects or work streams within here, lah, right? Mm. Not, not just an art studio, art mm. exhibition kind of thing. Like even the, the illustrator, the, 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 the guy, mm. yeah, he can also come and help as well. Ah, yes, yes. So, so, so he can actually be invited to the Chaco. Now you started something new all together in Chaco, you know. Mm. Oh, guys, you realize that. No, By, yeah, yeah, yeah I know, I know. It's yeah, good, it's good. To... Yeah. It's, so it's, thing, uh. yeah. yeah. It's not uh, cottage studios because cottage photo takes you end to end. This one you got to be like very military already. Ta, 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 ta. This Chaco Atelier is really the. It's here. Space and places for creative exploration. Vincent mm. got it right. It's, it's big. It's, it's much uh, more creative. And uh, mm. the commercial application is branding. And uh, where is the personal atelier? Is, is it going to be here? No, right? Because personal atelier is very quiet one, you know. <laughs> Maybe personal atelier, you'll have to take it off online, yeah. offline yourself. Yeah. It's your own thing, right? <laughs> like I have... I have no another. <laughs> uh, I have another work domain, right? Uh, called uh, Selavi Bonbon Stralala. That is my personal atelier name. It took me a long time to name it. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> it's called Selavi Bonbon Stralala. <laughs> I was Stralala. <laughs> Stralala. <laughs> and I had defined it. Uh, I've taken it many, many years. Uh, so so we don't prescribe anything. I think this this. There will need to be exercise somewhere, but never mind. We will weave, <laughs> we will weave it in into the journey of delivering stuff, uh, the runway, the everything. Okay, but so for me, if you do nothing, we should go and exercise. Wake up, you eat, you have to exercise, or you you definitely have to do your HIIT, and you have to do okay. yeah. If not, you cannot find your body cannot produce joy. Okay. So I, I don't know. So people are still resisting it. So I'm not I'm not putting it in here. But okay, I know what I'll do. I'll put it as personal atelier and then we don't, it's complete silence. How's that? Huh? How's that? So that you all have your oh, personal okay. atelier. So yeah. that you're in your work schedule, you can put a space called personal atelier and nobody gets to question what you do during that time. Ellen, Tasha, what do you think? You can put yourself at focus here. You can put uh, your exercise here. <laughs> you can put your dancing here. You can put whatever that you're exploring for yourself here. Okay. And that one has, nobody can judge that. You know, you don't need to account for that. Okay. Yeah. So that's part of our personal well-being journey here. Do you think we've got we've got everything? We've got the marketplace, we've got the governance. Huh? Is this a comprehensive program already? I think it's very comprehensive. Uh, it's very good, huh? So do you feel like you can develop as a person? Ah, uh, I know what here. Ah. Okay, here. And then open. <laughs> I don't even want to say responsibility, right? Because you can't find responsibility if somebody keeps telling you you have to be responsible, right? So it's open, silence. Okay, so, so you have personal development here, you have the professional development all in this kind of thing, you have learning and development here, right, which is birth to lifelong inter intergenerational, that's what school of life means, so it essentially becomes full inclusion already, so the culture itself is fully inclusive, you don't need to specially have a uh, uh, extra full inclusion kind of program. You see why I need to record this session so later we can go back to all these videos and take out certain parts of what we say together <laughs> because you cannot remember it's evolving, you know. But okay. that's where your strength is, Hongkai, because you, you have this 
social pedagogy behind you. You you know, you're trained, you're trained already to to be able to extract all these things, right? Uh, what do you think? Does this fit your needs? Everybody's needs, apprentice needs. I think it does. Mm. I think the personal artillery is essentially the social personal. Uh, it's the identity, uh, and nobody can define it. It's, it's, it's a tough one, uh, this one. So we leave it alone. Oh, but we're, we're pretty good at posting it, right? We're pretty good, yeah. Because we have this creativity, we have this economic empowerment, uh, then we have this global component, right? Local, it's global. Wow. Wow. When we have the knowledge, so you can't get lost, and we build the knowledge. So Hong Kai, for an apprenticeship program like this, one year you think is enough? Or it or is actually the BB Youth Stewards program? We had put as 18 months, and then with COVID. We kind of kept it open. In fact, we actually didn't put a timeline to it. Because the summer school is still like quite long, right? Mm. In I... fact, in fact, it's a journey from uh I think like what you said just now, I like what you said just now about. Back to the schools, right? Like extensions, three months, six months extension. It's modular. So I think we can we can keep it as one year. And oh. afterwards, the program, the, the 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 participants themselves, even us, we can decide like we wanna perhaps proceed with certain things that we have not yet finished. For instance, summer school, and then we decide on a period that we want to continue working on. Maybe for the next, after this one year, I can commit to this project for six months. Then that's it. Then if I cannot, I can do, I can come back again. So I do for, like, like a, so a program for 12 months. But you see, it's very short, you see, because of COVID, like Alan and Tasha already started in 2Q, you know. Uh, so I don't, I don't, the reality of COVID time passed very fast. <laughs> but I think it's okay. So then basically for Alan and Tasha, they, they choose to extend another 12 months. Let's put it that way. Okay. Or oh, we haven't really started. They, they, you are the pioneers. <laughs> we were, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Okay. And then uh elective yeah. projects. Yeah. Right. It's like the sabbatical. Huh? It's a what? It's like the I always hear people, the professionals taking sabbatical leave. Ah. Yeah, what is the sabbatical? Work. It's like they take a leave just to go and embark on a different thing from what they do at work. Or to learn to acquire a certain be their side hustle, their hobbies. For this one, uh, for yeah. the apprentice. Uh. The elective projects uh, is the same idea. Okay. But 12, 12 months, you think it's, for... it's enough time to be able to grasp all this? Can, right? To grasp it's all... daily, to daily, it's daily, right? Oh, to grasp all this, yes. It's just that <clears throat> to really do something concrete with each of them is not possible. Uh. Yeah, but in the 12 months, I guess we can structure the, the opportunities. Uh, but what yeah. you all what you all will be experiencing or what Ellen and Tasha have experiencing is like this, but it's not in depth, right? Because I've I've been the one to go and do 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 do. So if we actually start this program, and why I'm asking this question is is uh because uh there, there are grants out there, you know, and you all actually can get paid, you know. And if some of these projects can pay the 30% of your salary, okay, 
then the project is viable already for 12 months. Alan and Tasha. Okay, Alan, Tasha and Hong Kai. So the trainee program, right, means, means your, if, you, if you turn this into a trainee program, during this COVID years, at least, right, we can, we can actually get salary. And all we need to do is make 30% of that salary. Well, what, what is that? What is that logic? I don't get it. The government what? is... The government... Oh, oh the traineeship. Ah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. For wow. COVID, yes, they, they had put in anybody who's graduating from these universities and uh, ITE, you can get... Uh, uh, a salary, okay. Mm. Uh, the co government commits to the grant. Mm. To I think seventy yep. percent. Then the hosting organization, say One Love, would need to pay the thirty percent. But I think since we are having this micro entrepreneurism, we just go and generate enough to cover your salaries. And that's a good challenge, I think. Well, I am very happy, happy to add her salary, you know. You're very happy to salary, yeah. So, Alan, for your case, uh, you're a graduate of Lee Kong Ken School. We will have to see uh, how we're going to get the grant, okay? So, the grant is uh, now for uh, the universities, polytechnics, and ITEs only, okay? So, uh, I've spoken to Uncle Colin, or at least getting starting to speak to him. Uh, about whether they can get funding uh, for somebody to uh, uh, pay for this traineeship program, okay, uh, and be able to offer your salary, okay? So all these solutions we have to find ourselves, okay, either from the government, but I think, I think it will anchor your focus, all your, the three of you, your focus, especially Hong Kai too, the tension of people's expectations and, you know, because I, I feel that this is the work you all really want to do and commit to already. And if it's, it's 12 months, if it's paid, if it's a proper program, uh, it's the identity is, is, is right, right? Uh, it's actually doing a lot, a lot, a lot of work. Then we'll all be a bit more relaxed already. Then there, there won't be any tension, even on my part. Because right now I'm I'm I I am unsettled as to what are your your volunteers? Okay. <laughs> you know, are your co-entrepreneurs? Because we're all working together, but there is no remuneration, there's no fixed uh uh person to person uh legal arrangement, you know. <laughs> Or prolong, prolong for a short term like this, for for like this, the youths are fine. The youth stewards are fine because they came in knowing that they are uh, they've been uh, awarded a, a youth stewardship uh, program. So it's it's slightly different here. You're actually doing a lot of work. I suppose if it's, if it's just BB Lighthouse work, uh, it's uh, it's it's volunteerism, right? But it's like I said, I just want to move away from the idea of volunteers and beneficiaries. Mm. Mm. So our our social entrepreneurism, entrepreneurism innovation, right, is uh, to create this uh, trainee program. You know, uh, the, the ambassadors, like I said, uh, are coming in as, uh, as workplace attachment, you know, if you think about it, because there is a, it's in a vocational education school. So, so these are some of the, the whys, right? Uh, we, we will put it down uh, for, to explain uh, to themselves, okay? So this, all these kind of things uh, gives dignity, right? okay? So they also will learn about personal artillery. Oh. So, so, so they, they get to create their own um, personal development, their identity, etc. you know, based on our programs. So, 
So they also need to know the context of what you guys are experiencing, okay? What the stewards are experiencing. So that's how people settle into a place very fast where they can understand the, the context. Okay? Oops, Hong Kai has dropped off. So Hong Kai, if this is the case, uh, we will have to work very fast to focus on getting uh, the traineeship grants before, before we miss the timeline. The, the deadline is not bad uh, as long as the program is started in May 2020 or March 2020, I can't remember. I was just researching yesterday, but, but if we can start this uh, ASAP since we've got the space and everything is pretty much locked down already, right? Uh, I mean the specs for BB Lighthouse. Uh, I I I feel very comfortable. We we can generate the the extra thirty percent uh, for your salary. Okay. Yeah, and I think I think it will make us much more dynamic and much more focused as well. <laughs> so yeah. so for the BB Lighthouse ambassadors, right? Uh, you can see the the why is very important here. Okay. Okay. So can you put in some more reasons here? from their perspective or for all what we are offering them okay you just call out i'll write it down um we we don't know anything about them besides that they are they, they are they have they have certain conditions and they are age in that that age range right 13 to 16 years old mm. so full inclusion uh so we know it's uh uh it, it has to be unique uniquely supported okay uh we know their age age group is uh adolescents so uh adolescents uh we say 13 to 17 year old. So you see, we are framing this, right? Mm. We're framing this designation. So we we should be able to support anybody who is you as long as we, we know. Okay. So we might have to talk to their parents, we might have to ask them about their medical condition, etc. You know, how we ask them because this is a pilot program, we don't have the forms, we don't have the procedures yet, but Eventually, it will get to a point where uh, whoever comes on board this program, right, will will have to entrust us with that information, uh, and because this is all confidential information, etc., it has to be very delicately handled. You know, mm. we're setting the culture and the practice, right? Uh, mm. So if they come, they uh, uh, so the 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 first thing is they they have personal development. It's your personal artillery. I, I guess we want to find their, their passion. Once you have your, your space, because some people may have uh, structured their lives too much. They don't even know what is inside them that they really want to do, you know. So their, their, the voice and participation. So your, 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 your stories thing is very critical. Okay. Yeah. And, and then they have to understand that they are entering like, uh, what is BB Lighthouse, okay? What is BB Lighthouse, the space, the placemaking, mm. okay? So one of the placemaking is it's a co-working space because it's about mm. micro-entrepreneurism, right? Yeah. So because, because it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's essentially, Place making is broader, right? Place making has has uh, the community engagement, right? Mm. Firstly, intra intra community, and then you need to do inter, right? Mm. And then, I guess here is it's a co working space, and then uh, maybe they can participate in one of the projects. Yes. Maybe charcoal runway. 
Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That's the simplest, right? So yep. maybe we put down here. So this this is the the stories, right? Hmm. So we we don't need so everything is a program. So we need to say program already, right? So the story. Uh. Chaco runway lah. So quite quite it's quite simple lah, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, then you can decide in the personal atelier and the stories if you want to have Vincent come and, and do some art, do some branding, etc. I guess it's, it's all here, lah, right? If, if you do Chaco Cottage Studios, Chaco Atelier, it's, it's, it's all here, right? So maybe yeah. we just pull. The idea of entrepreneurism, right? The idea of the... That only we can, are empowered to engage community, isn't it? Mm. Could, could be something... Do we want to start anything else already other than this? No, right? No. Many things already, right? So yes. even in our community engagement, it's going to be Chaco Runway and Chaco Cottage Studios, right? Maybe even making some of these things or the branding. Actually, it's, the, it's learning how to brand this, right? Not brand, but share the communication about what BB Lighthouse is, right? It's, it's really yeah. coming back to here, right? Yes. Adding joy and kindness. <laughs> okay, so the the... Uh, uh, so it's actually uh, spreading joy <laughs> and kindness with uh, joy and care, joy and care. So or, or, or yours is the other way around. Ah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> the, the meaning is the same. Yeah, you can see I, I have this side of me a bit. <laughs> a bit, a bit. <laughs> okay, so because for some people it does matter. Okay, so eh? and then I'm going to like hashtag you guys, right? Eh? <laughs> so matter or don't matter? It is fine, it is fine for me. <laughs> okay, so like this, right? Um, is is uh, so you, you already have a uh, workplace, you have this one is basically whatever projects. Anything else? Um. We, we we forget Earth, you know. So I'm <laughs> going to I'm going to wire it in. Okay. Okay. Huh? Okay. Yeah. So I will make this because it's not just any entrepreneurism. Like this, uh, when their parents see this deck, they will understand and they will ask you what what does this mean? Okay. Is this stable? You think? I think this and participation. Is what is the library for? Pedagogical documentation, so they can contribute to the library. Mm. Ah, I know. It's pedagogical provocation and documentation. So they can borrow from the library and all of you can as well. Once it's cataloged. <laughs> so that okay. even those... Um, uh, and like I said, how do... And then we need to do on life. Okay? On life is the most challenging part. Mm. Yeah, to know each other first, I think, before you can do online. <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't know. Yeah. I, I love is scary. I've been invited to this chat, right? Through this app. It's, it's, it's for business networking, right? Even I feel intimidated. I'm like, I, I, you know, who are these guys? Suddenly, it's like, but of course, it's hosted by quite a, quite a good uh, group. Lah. So that's where your brand and your trust, people must trust you first lah. They, you, mm. you know, before, before they dare to join such a, mm. you know, and, and, then, and I have to give a talk, you know. And then people will listen and talk to me. And and it's like a WhatsApp chat call, you know. It's it's like it's a podcast kind of style. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's called what Clubhouse. Oh, <laughs> so, Clubhouse. So, yeah. Also, you know what Clubhouse is. So I, I find it like wow, you know. But but this is the, the new world. And uh, we, we would need to so place making is the place making the community, right? So we we have to be robust on the on life, and we have to think. And then and then once they settle down on all these places, they feel very comfortable. That they can work with the library and all that, right? Uh, the place making includes the the pantry, etc., and and all these co working spaces. So what what yeah, what really remains is the is the on life. The, the, the what is the the on life presence? That is that is really our our so so this is this is personal right. This is going to be our uh lighthouse uh, community. Voice and participation. So I think the the voice of full inclusion, right? What is needed, what they need, what we need to be together is very, very underserved. And I think okay. it's, 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 it's where Ellen's self-advocacy really will come in. And Tasha, you are saying, people forget that you have Kabuki syndrome and then, you know, we, and it makes, how does it make you feel? And I've done that to you, you know, last week. I forgot. <laughs> Not that I forgot. But it's like I got impatient. So so it's it's and it's not impatient. It's like just I didn't know, right? Then how, what is that effect on you? Because it's it was as it was really because we were labeling the 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 spaces, right? And Natasha had used a light colored, but that's what she finds is beautiful, you know. And I should not have said anything, right, Tasha? Yeah, <laughs> but I had wanted it to be dark so that it can be seen by everybody based on my experience of developmental intervention. So it's like little, little things like this can create misunderstanding, but it's for, for maybe for most of us, we just shrug it off. But maybe for you, it's very, very big because you, you, you have put your whole heart into it, you know. So so things like that, we really need to zoom in. And uh, so full inclusion is not just about four people uh, sitting in a space, working together, mm. you know. Mm. It's really about uh, this joy. And I, I, I love it that you have, uh, you actually have care in it. You, you have fear, joy, and care. So, so once we let this piece be itself already it's very very big then we zoom in on on here and i think this is where the real real uh deep listening is mm. so once the ambassadors know how to be very confident in this various threats of but I call it capabilities or competencies, right? Core competencies. Uh, then they'll be very empowered, really. So if they are with us, uh, for even for six months, you know, we can. I, I guess for this one, we can do six months by six months if the school is giving us six months, right? Mm. But then in these six months, this is what we want to be able to commit to, um, uh, be able to and en en enrich the um the ambassadors with them. 
then, then they can choose and their parents can choose and the school also can choose. Because if the school terminates the, the, the space agreement, right, we can't host this like this anymore. The whole format will change already. Mm. Right? So, so all we can do is uh, we offer at six months. Right? Mm. Uh, then of course they can join the youth to worship program already like, once they hit 18 <laughs> same thing right yep. it's this is not a training program this is uh what do you want to call this education vocational education no, more than that. Mm. In the school context. <laughs> so that we can offer other, uh, the special education needs school because there's another school who was uh, very keen to work with us. Mm. We are more than vocational education. Do I just say developmental program since you are about developmental intervention? Okay. Developmental program. If you are them, what would you feel? If... You see, like the, the youth stewards, right? The, they were selected by their, their elders almost, you know, the community leaders. Mm. So this one has to be a program of like a scholarship like that. So it cannot be like a developmental program. Oh. Mm. Uh. It has to be a program of power, like uh, not beneficiary, like a uh, you must think of what BB lighthouse keepers are doing. What is the role in society and economy of BB lighthouse keepers, and therefore BB lighthouse ambassadors. Alan, Tasha, any idea? Okay, shortage of any idea, anything, you know, <laughs> adolescent stewardship. <laughs> we will work with their parents and um, themselves to do. Ah. Um, what about enrichment? Huh? Enrichment. No, enrichment will be more like those people who are given you're right it is an enrichment program in the context of uh, is it vocational education um, a lot of the references I have put in in the BB Lighthouse development guidelines is related to vocational education full inclusion vocational education um, could be enrichment could be okay I'll just put everything here okay then we decide we talk to them. We talk to the school. We talk to uh what else again? Sorry, enrichment, uh vocational education. But this is good, right? We've done a lot of work today. Okay, so I'm going to have to let you go already because it's getting very late. Sorry yeah. about it. Yeah. Uh, we looks like we have to continue some more. Personal yeah. Atelier. And I have a two o'clock and then I'll swing back. Personal Atelier and Formation. Okay. Character Formation, right? Hmm. Okay. It's, 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 very, uh, it's very important. I think, I think for, 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 for this age group and because... Uh, 
yeah, we already said full inclusion. So there's a lot of anger as well. Uh, we have to get them through this piece, right? As uh, place making, uh, yeah, then they will be able to do their voice. They will have uh, a public uh, confidence, you know, on life confidence, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's a you like this unlife confidence. Um, they also have to have a uh and presence. So so like that's why I put your quickly on the link in already. Okay, this is this is what life is. This is what the apprentice the apprenticeship is about. Oh, Ellen, you are very good to to say this name, ambassador. They are actually uh, advocates. Huh? Oh, self advocacy program. I like that. Huh? I like that. I like that. <laughs> you like it, is it? I like self advocacy program. Yeah. Ta -da! <laughs> That's why uh, they're ambassadors. They're ambassadors for a reason, right? Yeah. For yeah. the the unheard, the unvoiced. Right. The unseen. Huh? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you think so? You like this style of advocacy? You believe in yeah. it? Oh, yes. you believe this is needed, is it? Yes. Huh? You don't think that uh think it's needed. Because it's not there. You don't think that we should just be like entrepreneurs. Huh? You don't think that we should, we are just entrepreneurs. No, there's there's a you like this, huh? Oh, you resonate with this. Okay, so yeah. so they're chosen for a self advocacy program yeah. that uh, is centered on uh, this, right? Uh, uh, and entrepreneurs self advocate for themselves. It's the same, are. right? They are. Right. <laughs> they are. Uh, yeah. I actually uh my observation and that's why we're doing this is that uh if uh you very unique individuals in society want to have economic empowerment they are essentially entrepreneurs they, they have to have the entrepreneurial mindset because uh, it's just not there the infrastructure is just not there and they, if they start to think that they're going to rely on other people right they will have learned helplessness and uh, you will not be in a favorable outcome, no matter what you, what you think people are, or have. Like you say, altruism is very hard. Yeah. Yeah. It's very hard. Yeah. So, uh, uh, character and uh, stewardship formation. So once you write all these things now, later we can just put all these in, and uh, how can maybe you can start even writing uh the small blurbs for all these, you know. And I do okay. want to have a session where you're sharing with Ellen and Tasha. Uh, yeah, the program. Your, yes, yes. So, do you all want to do it today or do you want to do it tomorrow? I'm good with tomorrow. Yeah. I'm good with tomorrow. Uh. There's a lot basically, already right today. Basically, mm. I set aside Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday because you told me to set aside Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Fantastic. So, so yeah, I'm going you... to go with this schedule. Let's go with this schedule. Don't do Monday. Okay. Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, okay, la, okay, la, I'll just put down here Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay. So that I remember it myself. But my schedule is very fluid. Uh, sure, uh, sure. Because I have I have to uh, accommodate my other uh, uh, commercial projects as well. <laughs> okay. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. So I, I will send this to you and then maybe you 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 help us uh, tidy this up. La. Okay. It's no longer on site, right? It's on Zoom, right? Yeah. Wow. Everything. Actually, I prefer to have some on site uh, for myself. I do, I do, I do too. So, okay, I, yeah. I leave it. We just settle this week first, okay? This week all on Zoom. But, okay. But uh, maybe we'll be brave. Uh, since like the school also needs us to go in. Uh. Yeah, great, great. Okay, I, I do want to go in. You want to go in? I, I, I just don't want to do the art. I, I, you don't want to do what? I don't want to do the art. The art? What's that? The, the, the test? Oh, cannot. 
because the school <laughs> is asking people to do the I mean the 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 workplace uh the workplace requirements is if you go on site you have to do the art. But then we've taken the vaccine. Then what's the point of me taking the vaccine? <laughs> That's why I say wait until the government has decided. I, what, what, I, what, what, what endemic life we want to lead, you know, because the endemic life that we are currently expected to live if we, lead if we go on site is to do art, <laughs> which is costly, you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so I can understand it, right? Um, but, uh, ah, okay. So what I have missed is here. So I've, I've left some space for you to put stuff in here. Okay, so okay, I am going to be like this. Okay, so I think I've given the the briefing for this already. All all the information is here, and then later it's just the workflows. Uh, so maybe this one we can we can just put it for uh month of October. Okay, so that okay. everybody is very very clear. Okay. And, and then we have to map out uh the i I'm not on site. Uh. No, 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 they ignore everything here. I'm just oh, gonna okay. Just... okay. So so we just have to tee out a schedule. Uh Hong Kai Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. We just go with Hong Kai timing, like, okay, everybody. I don't okay. know. I don't know. I let you lead this. I, I cannot really, I cannot micromanage this piece anymore. Okay. okay. So I'm just going to essentially uh work with Hong Kai. I know Tasha, you're okay. I work direct with Hong Kai, and then he will work with both of you. Okay. Because okay. I think I'm micromanaging too much already. Your your okay. I'm I'm yeah. So 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 that now that Hong Kai has the the time, we should really let uh Hong Kai do this. Okay. With both of you. So so Hong Kai, I think these are the key key kind of strategic pieces that we have already nailed down today. The rest are kind of operational and tactical already. So okay. you, you just feel confident to take on from there. Mm. I, think, uh, I think the next piece is, is really the uh, uh, here, the onboarding pieces. Now, see, we already did this today, the program development. Okay. This, this is the program development. It goes hand in hand with the apprenticeship program development. Can you see that? Mm. And then we have decided that it's going to be a self-advocacy program. Well, you, okay. are, you guys are sustainable entrepreneurs. Okay. One of the things you're doing is a self-advocacy program. It fits in beautifully. Yeah? Don't you think okay. so? Yeah. Because otherwise everything is entrepreneur, entrepreneur, entrepreneur. Then what is this? You know? Okay. So, so this, this becomes very specifically self-advocacy. As you say, entrepreneurs are self-advocates. Um, mm. Maybe I would put here uh, entrepreneur, sustainable, entre sustainable entrepreneur. So as a self-advocate, you know how to do this, you know how to do this, you know how to do this, you know how to do this. Huh? Cool, huh? and then you have a uh, workplace attachment. Library of possibilities, right? Because even your own uh, theory and books are in the library of possibilities. Mm. Wow, powerful. So, uh, Hong Kai, can you work with Alan and Tasha? Okay. On can Canva and promo, okay? Or you start writing, lah, okay? And, mm. and leave you all the freedom. Then when you are finished with this workflow, then, then we meet again. Uh, because not much point to meet to talk about all this just yet, right? Mm. Right? So yeah. you, you your work offline to think of the like the, the communication materials and essentially the uh uh how you use it to visually communicate it. Then you have to think what is your on on life uh, presence. Do you want to okay. use do you want to use Insta? Do you want to use Facebook? I, I don't know what 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 you are using these days. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
So I will pop this into the uh, folder and then you can find it already. Okay. Yeah. So all oh, yours, Hong Kai. <laughs> you see how I love to delegate. <laughs> but thank you so much uh, uh, for taking on this challenge. Photo. Mm. And uh, we've had a very long meeting and y'all managed to stay. <laughs> but it, this is good. But you see, Zoom okay. really fatigues. Uh, terrible. Uh, very, <laughs> very different if you are working together. So maybe we have to go on site. Okay. So everything is recorded here. Uh, I think we did not mention the school name. So actually, we will, I will put this up onto our thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's our own life confidence and presence. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you have think so Hong Kai, you work with them, huh? so I will work very closely with Hong Kai and then Hong Kai, you, you will work with Ellen and Tasha. Okay, okay. So give specific yeah. tasks, huh? like mm -hmm. Ellen, ask Ellen to draw. Okay, yeah, okay. Get, get everything out. Okay, Hong Kai, you write, okay. Ellen, you write, Tasha, you write as well. Okay, based on today's discussion. Okay, Ellen, okay, you can write and draw any amount of things you want regarding this because you are the self advocacy expert. Okay. <laughs> I shout I'm a judge for Jessica. Yeah, that's why you you name the program VV Lighthouse Ambassadors. You know that it's important. And Tasha, I want you to whack the thing uh, about understanding uh, and how it makes you feel and all that. Okay. Write it, draw it, okay, make a painting, do whatever. Okay, let's let's get some art, nice art and uh, some nice voice and creativity going. Okay? We got a plan. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, bye bye. Whenever y'all got your work done already. Okay? Okay. Y'all call me. Okay. All right.